include some of the conservative numbers, around about six to 700,000 children every year die of vitamin A deficiency. Around about another 300,000 kids apparently go blind because of, permanently blind because of uh, vitamin A deficiency. Well, in, in Uganda, uh, bananas are their staple food it, and it's part of their culture. Uh, the word for, for um, food in Uganda is matoki. The word for bananas in Uganda is matoki. So food and bananas are synonymous. The big challenge was that when we started, we didn't know which were the genes that we needed to, to use and how we should control them. This had never been done in, in banana fruit before um, and very little was even known about how you go about increasing pro-vitamin A in, in fruit. We were well aware that there were bananas with very high levels of pro-vitamin A. There's a collection in North Queensland where, uh, where they're growing and so we were able to get material from there and, and we pulled out a banana gene out of there that's been very successful. So what we did is we then, then took uh, what we know as um, uh, somatic embryos, little uh, embryogenic cell suspensions, and we put the genes into, each one, uh, into, uh, into these cells. And each one of those we regenerated from a single cell back to a whole plant. It's a long process, takes about 12 months. Um, and, then, and then we multiplied those plants up once we got, and, uh, and then we took them up in, in tissue culture up to uh, up to um, South Johnson, that's where we do our, our uh, field trials. And then we, uh, we take those through to, to fruiting. And we do all the, all the analysis that is at TUT, both the fruit and the molecular analysis. We've already taken those genes over to Uganda and our collaborators in Uganda have put them into the local bananas. They're going extremely well. A very important part of the project is that the experimentation done in Uganda is done by Ugandans, not by us. We transfer the technology. I go over there uh, four to five times a year. Uh, very importantly, uh, three of the scientists working on this project have done their PhDs here at TUT and they've gone back and they are now working actively in the project. They're leading the project from a, from a lab perspective. We know exactly what causes vitamin A deficiency. We know exactly how to solve it. So the Gates Foundation has backed us since 2005 and they've been absolutely fabulous. To me, I think to really see, go into the field in Uganda and see those orange bananas growing and thinking, wow, we, we're involved in this. Hopefully, in, in, in some time in the future, we'll see the impact that, that the, level of, the level of vitamin A deficiency, particularly in the rural areas, is, is really starting to drop. I mean, that would be just a fabulous thing to be involved in. Mm -hmm.